In this video I want to introduce you to arrays. Uh, the basic concept about an array is that it is a list of elements of the same data type. So if you look at this you can clearly see it's a list of numbers or integers and we have five of them. So in this case we've decided to call our array list that is the name of the array it's similar to giving any variable a name so you can give it any name but the list the name list is typical uh, something else to notice is that list is a pointer but we'll say more about that in a later video at this stage we just know the array has the name list and list is a pointer to the list of elements so as I said, a list or an array contains uh, elements and they must always be of the same data type. So in this case, we've got elements of type integer for this array. But it's important to note that an array always has a maximum size. So if you look at this array, it can take nine elements. So the size of this array is nine. That means you can't put more than nine elements, obviously, into the array. The second thing to note is that the elements have position indicators. In C Sharp we call them indexes. So you'll see the first element is at, at index 0 or position 0 and the last element is at position 8. So each one of those elements you can identify them by their positions. So if an array has a size of 9 but it currently contains five numbers, then we say the number of elements in this array is five. So it has a size of nine and number of elements is five. So let's look at the code that you need to declare or to initialize an array. The first statement that you'll have is to dis decide what the size of the array would be. What's the maximum number of elements the array could take? and you make that a constant because it won't change during the program. So in this case we've decided that the array can take nine elements and that's the way we declare size. Just like with integers or doubles or booleans we have a data type for the array and that int square brackets means the array is, a, is of type list of integers. So the data type for this array is int square brackets implying list of integers. So combining the data type with the name of the array we get the pointer list which we say can in the future point to an array. Notice at this stage it does not point anywhere yet. We've just declared the, the variable list or the pointer list and we say it can point to an array of integers. On the right side of the assignment statement we actually uh, finalize the actual array. So the word new in programming means allocate memory or reserve memory and it says reserve memory for nine elements in this array. So what we now have is the pointer list that points to an array that can, con that can contain nine elements. Obviously, once you've declared an, the array, no, no elements have been put into the array. So you must immediately initialize number of elements to zero. So each element in the array uh, functions just like a normal int variable. And how would I refer to them? So if I say list zero is assigned to six, it simply means I put the value 6 at position 0 in the array. The same for list 4 is assigned to 9. If you want to work with arrays it's important to know a few basic facts. Um, in first years especially but mostly when you work with arrays you tend to fill them up from the left. So in this case the first element would go to position 0, the 6, and then the second element, the 4, would go to position 1. The next element will then obviously go to position 2. It is interesting to note that whenever you are adding a new element to the array, filling it up from the left, the new element will always go to position number of elements. To make sense out of that, if you look at the array in front of you which contains the values 6 and 4, 
number of elements would be 2 the last element is at position 1 therefore the next element will go to position 2 which is the same as number of elements if this array had contained 4 elements with number of element 4 then clearly the fifth one would go to position number of element. It is kind of obvious that whenever you're adding an element to an array, you must directly after that increment the number of elements. So if there were currently two elements and you've add, added another one, then obviously number of elements must become three. You will see later when you work with an array, um, it can obviously become full so if the array we're working currently with can take nine elements and you can obviously can't put 10 into it so in your coding when is an array full it will be full when size is equal to the number of elements for going through an array it's always important to note then that the first element will always be at position zero and the last element will always be at position number of elements minus one so again if you look at the array there at the top which contains two elements the first element is at position zero this last element element four is at position one which is then obviously number of elements minus one okay so let's look at this for loop that adds four elements or four numbers to our array list obviously because you want to add four numbers the for loop goes from one to four notice that whenever the user enters a new number we say list number of elements is assigned to int.parse as we discussed in the previous slides the new element always goes to position number of element because the last element is always at position number of element minus one and then as we also discussed previously as soon as you've added a new element you must increment number of elements so after this for loop number of elements will have the value 4 and there will be four elements in position 0 1 2 and 3 now we've added a for loop that allows you to print the contents of the array so whenever you go through an array or we say traverse an array the for loop needs to start at the first element and stop at the last element so notice it starts at zero and it stops at number of elements minus one the last element and then simply to print it you say console write line list x so x goes if you had four elements x would go zero one two and three